In part 4, we see numerous methods for partitioning graphs. The block models that we will see here are very different from the other clustering methods that, are, that maximize the intragroup connection and minimize intergroup ones. The interest of these block models are their capacity to identify positions and classify nodes according to these positions. The block models are based on equivalence concept that we introduce in course 3A part 2. So here we have the classical clustering uh, concept which is named here assertative structure maximizing connection inside the groups. So we have here in the representation of the connection between the groups, what we call the image matrix, the diagonal, which is maximized inside each group. But here with the block models, we can also underline dissertative structure, which maximize connection between the groups, and then let the diagonal empty and uh, maximize the interconnection between the groups. Also, we have interesting other models like core periphery, um, maximizing the connection between the center and the just periphery in blue, and we have it here, and between the blue and the green uh, that are here. Uh, in contrast, there, there are less direct relation between uh, center and the periphery, here and inside uh, the, the opposite groups of center and periphery, we have no connections. The hierarchy is one sort, one kind of this core periphery, which is extreme, with a maximization of link between the red and the blue, here, and between the blue and the green, here. So, first, uh, we will present an example to emphasize the interest to use such model. The example is the one of Alderson and Bakefield studying power and position in the world system of cities. And the aim of the paper so is to test the city's position in the world network of multinational firms and see if it corresponds to their country position, core, semi-periphery, and periphery according to the model of Wallerstein and bologna -Polt, which is very famous. The data they used is headquarters and subsidiaries of the 500 largest firms, and they identify urban areas, 3,692 urban areas. So they followed four steps uh, as a method First, measuring different uh, power uh, of the cities, power and prestige. Uh, then, uh, they measure regular equivalence by the block modeling, and they identify blocks. Then, they classify 34 blocks in five different status positions, and then they confront this position to the core semi-periphery and periphery model. So first, they measure the power. Uh, so the power is out degree uh, with Tokyo first, the closeness with Paris first, and the betweenness with Paris first again. Then they measure the what they call the prestige, the in degree uh, with New York first, meaning that New York attract attracts a lot of uh, subsidiaries. Then they apply the uh, block modeling to all the matrix and they create 34 blocks. So the blocks are represented here uh, by the first city of the block by their alphabetic uh, order of the name. And the first block is London, New York, Paris and Tokyo. Here we have the graphic representation of this image matrix, which underlines a core periphery model with 
London, New York, Paris, Tokyo at the core of the system, then uh, a first a set of cities around them, and then a periphery uh, also around all this system linked to the uh, to the core or the semi-core uh, of the system. They qualify the 34 blocks according to their number of cities, uh, to their out degree in proportion to the total out degree, their in degree in proportion to the total in degree, the um, the the and, and the exchange, the, the the link they exchange mutually in proportion to their outreach link. The first block, for example, London, New York, Paris, Tokyo, has got four cities. Uh, it represents 37 percent of the total outreach links of the world. They receive 14 percent of the total interim linkages and they exchange mutually 22.8% of their total uh, of the outreach uh, linkages. Then they assign the position status according to the typology proposed by Martin. And uh, the primary correspond to city with high level of relation with outsiders, all these blocks. Then the high status click has got a lower out degree to other blocks. The low status click has got um, a quite uh, high out degree but a low in degree here. The snobs statue is, uh, has got a high in degree and very low clickishing. And the isolate, which represent most of the cities of the network, uh, are uh, very isolated and has got very low clickishness. They represent the periphery of the system. Then uh, they assigned the core semi-periphery and periphery status rep res respectively to each city in order to test the correspondence between city's position and their respective country position. They did not use a classical um, correlation because network data violate the independence assumption of standard statistics. Instead, they used a test derived from permutation test that we will see in following courses. However, the interpretation is the same than a classical regression. They did not put here the core, as it is the rest of the cities that are not semi-periphery or periphery. Then the result shows that uh, population matter a lot, uh, and large cities have more power and prestige. In combination, the position as core and semi-periphery and periphery create another. Semi-periphery has less negative value than periphery. And in contrast, core cities that are not indicated here must have the corresponding positive values. Crossing directly uh, the different status of cities, primary, high status click, low status click, snob, isolate, with position of their countries uh, and keeping the population uh, as control variable, they implement a logistic model combining permutation test and two-tailed test. Again, population size of cities have a strong effect on likelihood for cities to be in primary block and negative for isolated. Then we have a great opposition between primary and isolate. The main result of the study is that the ordering of cities, power and prestige, is consistent with the one of their respective countries. However, they found little evidence of some new geographic centrality. So beyond the strict result, uh, this example shows the interest of using different steps in the 
network approach, allowing to combine different methods. In particular, the block model allows to qualify different positions in the network of cities according to the when no core periphery model and to test their significance with correlation models. In the following parts of this course, we will study deeper how to develop block modeling.